The very first time I saw it was when a friend of my parents pointed something out and said that was done by some famous guy. I had no idea that that was graffiti or what it was, but I realized a couple of years later that I saw this tag, and that was, I think, 78 or something. Somebody in my class was doing it, and uh, he showed me what it really was, and that you needed the marker to write your name, or spray paint, and that's how I started. I was 14. So this is one of my first experiments with making letters actually 3D and as if you can pick them from the wall. And I'm using all these visualizing techniques I learned in school, contour lines and little white uh, highlights and stuff I would do for presentation drawings with, with charcoal and white chalk and markers and everything. But with this one I was doing similar, the same thing but then with spray paint. Like normally I would do a piece with like fill-ins and outlines, you know, like the regular way of doing pieces. But this time, it's more of a painting with spray paint instead of using the, the spray can for lines and surfaces. Which I'm not claiming to be the first one to do that, but for me it was the first time to do that. It was a different time, like people were not making pieces, they were just writing the names in a sort of logo kind of way. Not really handwriting, but more stylistic. A little bit runish, you know, like the, the, the runes. A little bit that kind of way. It came more from like ska culture, or maybe skinheads or punk movement. And then only like a year later, we saw like the New York influence. Uh, Wild Style, Star Wars. Uh, there was a gallery in Amsterdam that brought all these artists over. A gallery called Jackie Kornblit, and they brought over Dondi and Quick and Futura. And that really influenced, influenced us. I think it was a head start, like seeing all these New York kings come over and see their work. And um, that was a big advantage for us compared to other Dutch cities or maybe some European cities. Because I remember me and two friends, writers, walking on the street and suddenly seeing subway art in the window of a, a bookshop. And, you know, the cover with all the trains, we stood there like for 20 minutes with our faces on the glass. Like, oh, look at that, look at that. This one is sort of an extension to that because it's really about the name, like D-E-L-T-A. I mean, it's already, really advanced and it, it's it's sort of a spaceship but it's it, it it just says my name basically this one is it still has the letters the idea is to draw two cubes one by wireframe and one uh, as a solid the idea is not just to do a piece although I'm using letters to build the wireframe or to build the cube in a way it's just a, a, a little bit next step like the shape of the whole thing is more important than the shape of the letters. The letters are just there, but they're definitely not important. <laughs>